Good morning. Today I want to tell you the story of the project that failed. I was lying in bed last week and thought, Hmm, I wonder where the place in Germany is that is furthest away from any house and also not on water. I wonder if you could scream as loud as possible there and nobody would be able to hear you. Hmm. So naturally, I calculated the place and went there. Here is the clip. Ah! That's so scary. Imagine you're in the woods and then you hear that. Ah! Okay, so how does one actually calculate the furthest point from any house in Germany? I think it's kind of easy, unless you do one big mistake, which I did. So maybe you could spot the mistake I made before I reveal it at the end. So the first thing you need to do is get a list of all houses in Germany, which sounds simple, but actually isn't simple. Uh, there is an official list by the government, but unfortunately it's not available to the public. So I tried using the next best thing, OpenStreetMap. OpenStreetMap is a crowdsourced mapping project that basically contains map data of the world. But the data is actually supposed to be extra good in Germany, because Germany is a country full of nerds that like to do that sort of stuff. I extracted all the buildings from that data and got 1.3 million polygons of houses, which sounds incomplete given that Germany has about 80 million inhabitants. So maybe I did something wrong, or maybe OpenStreetMap really does just contain 1.3 million polygons of buildings. I don't know. If you know and want to leave a comment, please do. Anyhow, I found a different list of all houses in Germany by a study from Microsoft for Bing Maps, which is like Google Maps or OpenStreetMap, but worse. They scanned satellite images all over Germany using AI and located houses. So I downloaded all of them and got 27 million houses, which sounds a lot better. Here is the map. And this map is awesome, like you can see so many good things from this. I just want to print it out and hang it in my home. And I'm an adult, so I printed it out and I am going to hang it in my home. It unfortunately has some rectangles missing because satellite images were too bad in those regions, but those regions aren't really candidates anyways, so it's fine. I still love it. So now we just need to calculate the furthest position from any house. And for that I'm going to give you two algorithms, a nice beautiful one and the one that I actually used. Here is the beautiful one. Instead of the 27 million houses, let's pretend there's only 10 for simplicity. Now we can ask for the nearest house from any given point. For example, from this red point here, the nearest house is clearly this one. And if we draw the area of all the points from which this house here is the closest one, we get approximately this area, and if we draw this area for all houses, we get what's called a Voronoi diagram, and Voronoi diagrams are absolutely fantastic. I even made a simulation on my website if you want to play around with such a diagram. I also made an animation of the points moving around, and I think I'm in love with it. It's so satisfying. Anyways. And actually, this already solves our problem, because in the Voronoi diagram, it's really easy to see the points that are furthest. It's just the intersection points. For example, this one is furthest away from these three nearby houses, and thus the furthest possible point in this region. So if we just check all of the intersection points of these lines in the Voronoi diagram, then we get the result we want. But can we even compute that big of a Voronoi diagram? Yes, we can. Drawing Voronoi diagrams is actually surprisingly easy. Basically, you just connect bisectors between nearby points, and then you do some algorithm magic, and you got it. You got the Voronoi diagram. Of course, the actual algorithms to compute them are a bit more involved, but they follow a similar idea. Unfortunately, we do have 27 million points, so keeping this Voronoi diagram in memory is kind of slow and memory intensive, so I had to do something else. I chose the stupid numeric approach. You basically just compute uh, the nearest house at a million points all across Germany and then choose the best points and then recompute at a million points and repeat that until you get an accurate enough result. It's a bit stupid, but it's actually quite quick because you only need to do a million points or so at a time and not 27 million points in the Voronoi diagram. It does have a catch that we need to choose a grid spacing that is fine enough not to miss any points, but actually that's fine with a kilometer or so. So I did that and then found the top spots. Here they are. The top spot is this military training ground here. Unfortunately, it seems the military has constructed a training city there. And if you ask me, those are definitely houses. It's unfortunate because breaking into a military base probably would have made for a better title. But the actual best place is, drum roll please, 
here in Saxony, 3.79 kilometers away from the next house. It used to be a Soviet training ground and apparently there were nuclear weapons stationed there. Unfortunately, that's also the reason why it's forbidden to go there. It's officially declared as wilderness, so I didn't go there. Instead, I went to the next best place, which is this place. But unfortunately, it's in water and this is Germany's largest inland lake, which is the Müritz. And you can get 3.77 kilometers away from the house here. Amazing! But it's a lake and we said no water. So I actually went here to this forest, 3.41 kilometers away from the next house. Here's a super fast travel montage. This was not so easy to get here. I hope the way back is downhill because I'm super tired. Ah! I hope the camera picks up how like echoey this is. I desperately hope I won't meet anyone on the way back. Small update, I was just coming back from the loneliest place in Germany and guess what's behind me? A house. I mean, it's definitely a house. It even looks like there's like things there. Mm. Oh, this is so annoying actually. Okay, so basically my entire day was ruined and the entire project was ruined because of this one house in this one forest. The house, by the way, wasn't even visible on satellite imagery. It's not even on Google Maps. It's just a random house in the forest. Great. And that's, by the way, I'll also the one mistake I made. I didn't actually verify if the house positions I got from the Microsoft data were correct. According to Microsoft's own analysis, their false positive rate of recognizing houses using satellite imagery in Europe is about 1.4%. Which sounds good, but given that we have 27 million houses, that's around 400,000 wrong ones, which is terrible. And that's just the false negatives, not the false positives, like the house in the forest. But those false positives turn out to be way more dangerous than the false negatives because they mean that potentially good spots get eliminated by the Microsoft AI because it thinks that this tree here is a house. Oh, and this spot here is maybe actually the real furthest spot. And then I did what I usually do at the end of a project like this. I googled and searched if anybody else did this already and it turns out there is a great study and it concluded with that spot there. And they actually used the official government data. Supposedly, the next house is 6.3 kilometers away. And from what I can tell from Google Maps, that's true. So I wrote to the government a very nice email asking if I could also get that data. Um, if they respond yes, I might need to do yet another video and another trip, hopefully when it's a little less warm outside. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had fun. I definitely had some fun. And bye!